When it comes to Steam reviews of like, you know, games by the Steam Curator, usually receive games that like, you know, are basically in development, have just been released, or along those lines where like, you know, it's great to basically give it to like, you know, a reviewer or stuff like that to sort of like, you know, build up um, interest in their game, maybe because of like a DLC drop or something like that. I'm not really sure what the case for Ghost Game basically here is, because it's basically a, you know, two-year-old game, so to speak, or three-year, four-year, multiple-year, like, old game. Well, let's see how she plays, shall we? And yes, I basically received this game via Steam Curator, so that's a thing, but whatever. Let's jump into it. Alright, AVG says it's suspicious, that's to be expected. Good job, AVG, keeping me safe. Uh Okay, well safe. A new threat to life everywhere has mysteriously emerged. The great vacuum. It is said to be capable of sucking up the entire universe. Federation has one last chance for survival. Summon a creature that can destroy the vacuum from the outside. Ghost game. Alright, first thing first, can I full scream this? And it's already full screen. Awesome! Well, let's start. Do I have to click this? Okay, so welcome Ghost 20812. Testing mobility. Now, I'm not bothered this is basically controlled by the mouse. Like, I'm not actually using WSD here, but I'm actually using the mouse to move around, so... Unlike basically like other survival or bullet hill type of games, this one relies on you to move around, mouse around. Dodge! Touching most objects will deal fatal damage to you. Testing Cloak. Cloaking drains your energy. If you run out of energy, you will not be able to cloak. So use basically your you know left mouse button to cloak. You click it, you say cloaked. If you unclick it, you basically you know uncloak. If you run out of energy, you like you know you know uncloak. Cloaked equal invisible. While you're cloaked, you're invisible to all damage. So basically, that's my dodge. Testing attack. Attacking also takes energy and can only be performed while cloaked. Oh, that's annoying. Right click while cloaked. Attack targets. You will have many enemies out in space. Attack them to survive as well as gain valuable ectoplasm. No problem that takes energy to do, so. Unless I actually have like the energy base to attack with. I can't attack. So I can cloak, but I can't attack, you know. Good luck out there. Attack everything in your path. Oh, that went a little fast. Well, I guess we know just what we're doing here. Press the space bar to join. So yeah, there is a co-op in this game, but you know.
What am I gonna pack up the exoplasm while I'm missing cloaked? Oh, there's like a multi-fire one that goes in multiple directions. So you can't kill that, but you know. It's probably more worthwhile to leave it alone. And yes, you can pick up stuff while cloaked. Now, what am I basically getting experience for, like, surviving here, or... ...for killing stuff? I leveled up. Does that do anything for me? Whoops, I died. So yeah, basically it's an instant one hit kill if you get killed. Interesting, I have to basically like go to the top of the screen to continue. There's a lot of enemies on the screen now. There's that big cannon one. There's a new ship type. Oh god, it chases you down. Now I got like an alien bear type of situation here. Probably oh, I'm on my last life here, so I'm almost dead. Frozen. I kind of wish my energy went back a little bit faster. Maybe I had more chance for lies. What's this? Did that kill me? Yeah, it killed me. The big button of death, I guess. Alright, well, let's start again. It's certainly a hard game, I'll say the least. I don't know what I basically get for Ecto. Is it basically like my currency for, like, you know, upgrades? Like maybe I like get my energy going back faster if I see upgrade a little bit, so that could be a thing. Now I got these guys flying in. Oops, I popped out and finally died immediately, right? So That guy takes two shots. This guy isn't dead yet, apparently, so...
Also shots to kill off the big buttons. Whoa. Uh -oh. Something killed me. Like a boss fight now. So that's busy an Emmy here. Okay, so that's a boss. Good to know. I guess it's probably like upgrades, but you know, you have to get enough points for it to really be worth it to really get them. Like, you know, blue print, um, uh, prints probably is what that is, not like, you know, blood prints or anything like that, but whatever. It certainly feels like the upgrades, if there is any, are like a little bit hard to get, so. My opinion of this game so far is that it feels a lot harder than it really should be. I keep my energy high this time. Yay, a little up of dying. Yeah, I'm basically trying to live right here more than anything else, so... That hit me. Ooh, different boss this time. This guy seems a lot easier to handle.
Whoops. Eyeballs. So I'm sure it was like eyeballs farther off, but you know, not immediately. Oh, I want to be cloak if it makes you like, you know, lose track of you. Because, you know, you're invincible. Oh, I can't talk to this guy if he's like, you know, eyes are closed apparently. How much health does this guy have? Oh, Shahai is really red. Yep, that got me. Well, let's see if I can at least beat one boss. It looked like the bat boss was basically almost over, he's basically in his like, sort of last mode. This definitely strikes me as a game that's basically all about, like, you know, reflexes and everything else, but whatever. Whoa! And I just got hit. Try and kill that thing. Now, as far as I know, these gray ships don't always give like you know acto. So if I'm farming acto, I probably don't want to go after them. Oh, those guys reflect stuff. Good to know. Like those guys, if I hit him twice, at least they die and like give me acto. So, that's what's good about them. These guys might give me Ecto if I kill them, but you know, might, uh, have a chance not to. Not gonna go kill that guy. I just realized something, by the way. I've been playing this game without any, like, you know, um, sound through my, like, you know, headset, so... You might not be hearing anything like the, you know, game music, even though... There's, like, no sound effects really for, like, you know, fighting and stuff. Let's just, like, fix that, so... Put on a headset for now. And actually, I'm just gonna, like, you know, stop the recording here. I'll just check to see if it's basically working or not. Alright, it looked like it was at least, like, you know, picking up the sounds from my, like, you know, um, monitor. But, whatever, let's just keep going. I don't think this will be the one where we basically, like, you know, do anything here, but whatever. Let's pick up some Ecto. What's the boss going to be? 
Alright, so we got this guy again. Does he not stop at all? He just keeps going, I guess. For like a while. Bang. I will say the music, music is nice, by the way. Whoop, I froze everything there. That guy always gives, like, you know, ectoplasm to kill him because he has two hits on him. What the heck is that? There's so much trying to kill me now. Not really, but my energy is low. Okay, I didn't lose a life this time, so we're in pretty good shape for the boss. We got this guy again. So I can't hear him when he makes his eyeball closed. When I go intangible, he can't see me, by the way, I guess. Oh, he's on his next stage here. Let's try to eyeball.
Oh, this might be a sex stage. Very bloody eyeball. Oh, we got him! Extra warp! Blueprint unlocked! Oh, do these guys basically release, like, you know, death when I basically hit him? Is that their gimmick? We've already seen those guys. Yeah, I think when I kill those guys, they just explode and deal damage to everything around. I always wonder if I could actually, like, you know, damage these things at all. I guess I can damage him, but I can't kill him, probably, so... At least I got the next level here. So those are two-hit enemies. And, like, all two-hit enemies basically give me some, like, you know... Ectoplasma to kill him. There's a bomb. Ooh. It's a little bit more dangerous. Oops, I died. I assume those are basically like, you know, similar to like, you know, um, those bikes basically. Tron bikes. Type of binary. Oh, the Octopus even disappeared. That sucks. Yes, anything can kill me. I guess we kill off two of those things there. God, there's so many of them. Yeah, I definitely feel the game's a little bit hard, unless like you maybe there's like upgrades I'm just not able to get to yet. And yeah, those things kill me, so they are like Tron bikes. And game over. I unlocked the blueprints, but I guess we can't get them, so. It's Twitter. Alright, well, I think that's basically enough for, like, you know, showing off this game. I mean, it's basically just your, like, you know, um, use, like, your mouse to move around and, like, you know, it's got a gimmick for, like, attacking, but I think it's just, like, you know, the charge is basically too slow on the attack. It's, like, you know, there's, like, no no upgrades or anything like that to sort of, like, you know, make it easier as, like, a road like would do. I got blueprints, but apparently this isn't, like, showing off, and then, like, you know, 
It is difficult. Not really my thing. Not really so I can say it's one I can promote either. But, you know, whatever. Show it off. Hope you guys please enjoy it and take care.